This is the tragic story of the Ender Dragon, how the End Dimension once flourished with dragons, were hunted down for their heads, were almost hunted into extinction, and how the last Ender Dragon, Jean, is still alive. Let's start from the beginning. This is the Queen Dragon of the Minecraft End Dimension, Jean. Similar to an ant colony, the biggest and most important dragon is the Queen. The other Ender Dragons live out on the Outer End Islands. Things are going fine, but one day, the Queen Dragon, Jean, has a dream that one day, a group of unknown people will enter the End, killing all of the dragons, including her baby son, who is about to hatch. When Jean wakes up, she tries to act calm, but is secretly worried. Hello Jean, I'm here to tell you that the dragon eggs are almost about to hatch. Really? said Jean. A year ago, after doing a special type of hug, the dragon eggs were raised in a bedrock nest. That's right, the exit portal used to be a nest for many dragon eggs. One of the eggs was about to hatch before their very eyes. A little baby dragon came out of the egg. Aww, it's so cute. What should we name it? How about Armin? Jean was worried though. Was her dream what actually a prophecy? Would her son die one day? She tried not to think about it. The little dragon was taught how to fly, and pretty soon, Armin could stay in the air for longer and longer periods of time. Look mommy, I can fly, Armin said. Jean was safeguarding him, not letting Armin go anywhere near the dangerous void. You've been playing too close to the void, young man, she would always say. You might be wondering why the queen would live by herself in isolation. The baby ender dragon hatched there and trained to fly in isolation where it was safe. The kids were kept safe by staying on the big center end island. You wouldn't want to practice flying in a place like the outer end islands, right? Anyways, Armin got lots of love from mom. Eventually, when the other baby dragons grew up, they would move to the outer end islands with all the other dragons. Armin, you've been a really good kid, but do you really have to go? Mom, I'm ready to go out to the outer world with my friends. I understand, said Jean. It's just that... She was worried about the prophecy again. It's like what you've always said, the cycle of life must go on. You're right, son. I hope I'll see you again. Don't worry, you will. Bye! Armin stuck his head through the tiny portal and teleported away. Jean was slightly worried. The next generations of dragons would begin to hatch. The end gateways were the fastest way of communication between the center and outer end islands. If the queen dragon requested so, an ender dragon could put their head through the small end gateway and visit her to do some important business. We know that there was once overworld influence in the end, meaning that people had visited this dimension before. The iron bars and the loot in the end cities indicate that the people from long ago had brought these materials into the end and built these structures. Things were going well in the end, but the same can't be said for the people in the overworld, the ancient builders. They were possibly incentivized to come to the end because of the wither that was causing havoc in the overworld. The ancient builders were kicked out of the nether because of the wither and the piglins who had revolted. The ancient builders entered the end. The king led the army. They were surprised to find a dimension of dragons and endermen. The two species had tense relations with each other, but maintained good relations nonetheless. Jean realized that the old prophecy would come true. The ancient builders needed a way to return back to the overworld again though. To create a nether portal, you need two things, obsidian and fire. What if the same thing applies to the end exit portal? The queen dragon has the power to open tiny end gateway portals, but she does not have the power to open a massive portal yet. The ancient builders wanted to escape, so they hypothesized that if they used obsidian and fire, they could open the portal, just like the nether portal. So they built huge obsidian pillars and put atop them end crystals which released fire and energy. The ancient builders got to work. Ten massive obsidian pillars were built to make this exit portal possible. The end crystals were put on top. The ancient builders somehow had access to bedrock. The crystals made Jean stronger. I can feel the power through my veins, said Jean. Jean was now full of power that leaks out if she dies. Now, a quick disclaimer. The big hole in this theory is that where did the ancient builders get all of that obsidian while they were trapped? And how did the ender dragon create her own bedrock nest and end gateways out of bedrock? It seems that the endermen and ender dragon are made of obsidian, but it's unclear if that's true. All of the energy from the end crystals and obsidian had enough power to open the portal, which is the bedrock nest in the center. The ancient builders didn't realize the side effects of this though. 
Not only did the end pillars give enough energy to open the center portal, they also gave the Queen Ender Dragon immense power. So for now, the ancient builders and the dragons were peaceful with each other. These Minecrafters discovered the outer end islands by going through the tiny end gateways. They found the many other ender dragons out on the outer end islands. The legend of the dragons spread throughout the overworld, and they were the talk of the town. The ancient builders and the king started to get greedy. Killing and selling a dragon head could make you millions in terms of Minecraft currency. The Minecraft dragon head became a prized trophy. The nobles and kings wanted to use their heads as decorations. Look, said a rich man, I've got two dragon heads. Oh yeah, said the king, well I've got ten heads. I killed this dragon all by myself. He was a tough one, you know. He got me down to two hearts. Didn't you die because one of those piglins killed you, said an elite. The king replied, <laughs> don't worry about that, I have my ways. What, you guys actually thought I died? Greed swept the nations and pretty soon it was a gold rush to get their hands on dragon heads or wings. This is a similar story to what happened in the nether. In both cases a new dimension was found and valuable resources were discovered. The king and his people would eventually get greedy and expansionist. They would hold the piglins bondage in the nether or the enderman in the end in this case. And as the old saying goes, History often repeats itself. These people made bases of operation for hunting dragons in the end. This might have been the original purpose of the end cities. This is why the end cities look so abnormal. They were purposely very tall so that they could better hunt dragons with their bow and arrows. People similar to pirates would ride in end boats, putting their dragon heads on the figurehead of the ship as a kind of flex. Armin, the baby dragon from the beginning of the video, was terrified. He hid in a secret crevice in the side of an outer end island. End boats flew through the sky, searching for dragons. The pirates were now filthy rich. Now, if you're Jean, the queen dragon, and you're hearing that these alien strangers are rampaging around the end and killing millions of your kind, you would probably be slightly pissed off. This is preposterous, said Jean. Who do those people think they are? And the king is promoting this nonsense. The queen ender dragon in final desperation decided to close off all the portals. The exit portal and the end gateways were deactivated or removed. The ancient builders were stuck and Jean had the last laugh. Jean felt better, but then she had a terrible feeling. Where's Armin? The ancient builders had killed off almost all the dragons due to their greed. Now they were trapped. The first cause of the ancient people's downfall was the wither, then a zombie plague, and the final nail in the coffin was being trapped in the end. They might have been interbred with the endermen over time, becoming an obsidian humanoid hybrid. Minecraft lore aside, let's resume our little story. Armin flew out of the hidden crevice and made a dangerous 1000 block voyage across the void. Will he be able to make it? He feels fatigued. He remember his mom telling him to never stay above the void for more than 10 minutes. So now, Jean is all alone, being the last few alive. There are endermen, but she is basically by herself now, on the center end island. The only chance, the one glimpse of hope, is the dragon egg inside of her. You might be wondering why the dragon egg never hatches, and it's because it's an unfertilized egg. The queen dragon desperately hopes for something to fertilize the egg, so that there might be a chance for the dragons to live on. Armin finally meets the queen for the first time in many years. Armin, is it really you? You're alive? Yes mom, I am. I told you I'd be back one day. Jean was relieved, and finally told her secret. Armin, I've been meaning to tell you this before you hatched. I had a dream that you would die in the hands of the king and his army. I see, said Armin. I'm afraid that the prophecy might become true then. Jean's eyes widened. What? I need to help my friends fight off the players. I could not live with myself if I didn't. Jean couldn't speak, and Armin flew off. Goodbye. No one knows if he survived or not. But then you, the player, come. If you mercilessly kill the Ender Dragon, you kill all hopes for the dragon race to continue. You are left with an unfertilized egg. Purple light bursts out in beautiful rays. This is from the immense amount of power Jean got from the end crystals. If Jean is dead, she cannot consciously close the portals anymore so they open up once again. Before, the queen dragon had at least a slight chance of hope to fertilize her egg and save the dragons, but killing her completely destroys that dream. The player is left with a dragon egg that will never hatch. The immense amount of power the ender dragon received before means that she can still respawn. 
the obsidian from the pillars is regenerated and used to create a new ender dragon, but she no longer has the egg once she is killed, meaning that the race of ender dragons that once roamed the end dimension is now basically gone, and only she is the last survivor. Or maybe not. This was the tragic tale and Minecraft theory of the ender dragon. Subscribe if you were entertained.